All right, so let's start out by finding mountain pose, getting grounded through the feet. We're connecting to the earth, all four corners of the feet. Lift the toes, spread them out, bring them back down. So a nice strong mountain pose here. We line everything up. Take note of where your hands are right now, unless you've already turned your palms forward, okay? And then if your hands are on your thighs, you know your shoulders are forward. So bring your shoulders over your hips and turn your palms forward to open the heart. And breathe. We want the heart open. So we're starting to move into um, days with uh, shorter hours of sunlight. And we're moving into standard time. So we want to think about our own inner brightness. And just envision that brightness within at your core. And as you breathe, you feed that brightness. We'll do this a lot this week. Sending breath and energy and light throughout the body to the tips of the toes, the tips of the fingers, and the crown of the head. Just breathing in this awareness. Let's bring some more energy into that. So take the L, uh, palms face out, exhale, and we'll draw energy up from the earth, drawing the arms up, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Capture that energy in between your palms and bring it to your heart. Now we also need to make space. So let's inhale, bring the fingertips up to the sky. Turn the palms out, and as you exhale, feel something you can release that no longer serves you. Just drop it down into the earth. Now, palms out. Inhale, energy. Bring it in to your heart. And then inhale and release. Do that two more times as you feel yourself grounded, maintaining contact with the earth, all four corners of the feet. When you finish your second round of this breath, just pause with your hands at your heart and see what you notice. And let's shake it out and get ready to move even more through our day. So we'll start with cats and cows in our spinal series. The feet are slightly wider than hip width distance apart. And um, let's go ahead and take the elbows out and round forward. We're keeping it soft right now, nothing too over uh, active here. And open up. So round into cat. This is often referred to as the Halloween cat, appropriate for tomorrow. And open up into your cow. And round. And open. And if you start to feel like you want to move a little more deeply with this, go ahead. Otherwise, just keep it soft. We're moving the spine forward and back, 
equalizing. And the next time your forearms are headed toward each other, just stay here, press your palms together, inhale up, and exhale, shake everything out. Okay, so we're going to take the feet almost mat with distance apart here for some tilting. Okay, so um, keeping both hands down. Now, <clears throat> just like in triangle, when we do our tilts, we want to keep the shoulders stacked. So we're going to make sure that the shoulders stay stacked here. We're not tilting and drawing the shoulders forward. So let's bring hands down by the side and tilt, reach down, come up and tilt, reach down. And just move through this, very simple. Let your hands slide down your legs. Think about keeping your shoulders stacked and opening up your side body. Now, the next time you find yourself tilting to the left, stay here and slowly start to bring your right arm up, up, up to shoulder height. And then bring it down and over and tilt to the right. Make sure those shoulders are still stacked and see about bringing the left arm uh -huh. and bring it up. Okay, so now we've also trained the shoulders to stay away from the ears. Let's see if they'll continue to do that as we tilt to the left, bring that right arm up, shoulders away from the ears, and tilt. Shoulders stacked, bring it down, and do it to the right. Okay, so just building awareness of what every single part of the body is doing in our tilting moves. That's why we added things one at a time. All right, let's go back over to the left. And now let's see what the core does as we float the left arm up parallel with the earth. Bring everything up, bring the arms down, and we'll tilt to the right, bringing the arm up, floating the right arm up, and come to center and shake everything out. All right. So let's go ahead and move into some twisting and we'll keep that emphasis on adding uh, one thing at a time. There's only a couple of things in this move. We're going to be doing curtsy lunges. If you like a wider step in your curtsy lunge, just turn to the side. We're going to start with taking the legs back, right leg back, left leg back, right leg back, left leg back, right. Now we'll add some arms. So right leg back, left arm forward, out. Left leg back, right arm forward, and side to side. So we're twisting. And then you might want to go a little lower in your twist, bending that front knee a little more. And then start to come back up, reaching across, and maybe even reaching up a bit here. And just notice what happens in your body as you change this move up, as you go side to side. And let's go back to just the regular curtsy lunge. And left, right. And with your right leg behind and come back to standing, shake everything out. All right, so we've warmed up the spine, hopefully the breath and everything is moving a little uh, more smoothly, flowing. Can you feel your energy rise here? And let's just do some soft knee and hip bends, right? Moving into very gently chair up and down just in preparation for us to head down to the earth. All right, last time, find the top of your mat, 
Now find your mountain pose and feel your energy. Maybe you find that inner brightness again that you were tapping into earlier. How's everything moving now? And let's find our way to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, half lift, fingertips down, down dog. Walking the dog, bend one knee and then the other. So remember, if your head starts to feel congested here, you can do this with your hands on a wall, right? Or a chair. You don't have to be completely inverted. And let's go ahead and press one heel down and hold. Press the other heel down and hold. Press both heels down and hold. Bring the knees down and sit off to the side. We'll find seated mountain pose. So just as we found the feet grounding us earlier, here we find the sit bones nice and even on the sit bones with the spine nice and long. Inhale and exhale. So we'll take, turn the palms out, drawing energy up from the earth. Feed, feed, feed that inner brightness. Capture it between your hands. Bring your hands to your heart. And we'll take another release here. Inhale, fingertips up, palms out. And as you exhale, just let go of any final things that you don't want in your practice right now. And shake everything out. All right, so let's get our core, okay? Um, we'll go ahead and um, we're going to work with the feet Hip width distance apart, feet flat. Lots of energy in between the thighs here, okay? And hands to the heart. So we bring hands to heart and just keeping hands at heart with a long spine, lean back, find your core, find your core, find your core. Okay, that point where you're working and not falling back and then come on up. All right, let's take it back again and do some arm work. Right arm out, notice what happens in your core and in. Left arm out and in and come up. Take it back. Notice what happens in your core as you take your left arm out, your right arm out and you come up. Now we're going to do it with two arms. Take it back. Two arms open and do that again. Open and in and shake it out. All right. We definitely want to keep the spine long. Notice what happens to the core. Even though we're not moving the body, the core up and down, we're uh, taxing the core with the arms. So let's go ahead. Hands to the heart. Just follow. Okay. Right arm out, in, left arm out, in, two arms out, in, two arms again, out, in, and sit up. All right, here we go. We're starting on the left this time. Take it back, left arm out, in, right arm out, in, two arms out, in, and again, and take it up. All right, we're going to finish up here. Again, just follow along. Take it back. Here we go, starting on the right. Out, in, left, out, in. Now just one time, open, in, stay here. Left arm, out, in, right arm, out, in. One time, both arms, and up. All right, we're going to do that starting on the left this time. Anybody feeling this? Okay, good, because you guys have strong, if you're not feeling it enough, you want to come back, maybe you're stopping like here and you really need to be here, okay? All right, so here we go, take it back. We're starting on the left, left arm out, in, right arm out, in, one time double arms. Now starting on the right, to the left, Double and in. All right. 
Take it forward and shake it out. Whew. Let your legs go long and shake them out too. Inhale and exhale. All right, some oblique work here. Again, the feet are on the mat, okay? Hip width distance apart, nice and strong. We're gonna put hands to the heart. Take it back, twist right. Come up, take it back, twist left. Come up. Now we're adding on. As you twist right, extend the arms. Bring it in. As you twist left, extend the arms. Bring it in to the right again. And in to the left again. And in to the right again. And in to the left again. All right, here's our grand finale. Keep your hands at your heart. Turn to the right, twist right. Right arm out, in. Left arm out, in. Both arms out, in, come up. Twist left, here we go. Left arm out, in. Right arm out, in. Both arms out, in, come up. Shake out your legs and fold forward. All right, just move into a nice soft forward fold. And shake it out. Okay. Uh, we're not going to use this right away, but we will be doing bow in our sun salutation, right? So we'll be having the leg. So if you like to have a um, strap or a, even an elastic uh, tie for that, just locate it and have it handy, okay? All right, so that's for it when we do sun salutations. Right now, we're going to um, say Happy Monday with our water wheel. So take it down. Remember, elevate your head. If lying down becomes a problem due to congestion, then stand up and move your legs like that, okay? Here we go. Both feet are grounded. Now, we want to feel the left foot, good connection with the mat, and we want it to stay that way. The left knee is headed straight for the sky. Here we go, water wheel right, knee in, point up, flex down, and keep going. Keep energy in your left foot and leg. And the next time the left knee is in, hold it in. Flex your foot. We're reversing the water wheel. That would be your right knee, I think. I think I said left. Flex out, point up, knee in. Flex out, point up, knee in. Keep going. And the next time that knee is in, hold it in. Okay, we're going to make sure that the left foot and leg stay nice and strong. Left foot is grounded. Hold on to your right hamstring and let your right leg come out to the side and back to center. Okay, so we're opening the hip side to side now. Out and back. Now come back to center, put your left hand outside your right leg and extend your right arm out from your shoulder. Let that left leg straighten any amount or none if it doesn't want to even straighten right now. Take your right knee just past the belly button. We start to feel a nice stretch here. Both hips are still grounded. Now we're going to let the right hip come up, keep the right shoulder grounded, let the right knee come over to the left and take your gaze toward your right fingertips.
release the leg, flip your, take your left hand off your leg, left ankle across the right thigh, flex your left foot, draw your legs in towards you. You're holding on to the shin here. We're in a nice open pigeon position. So we can move the legs side to side. Forward and back. Really getting into those hips here. Circle one direction. And the other. Now we're going to maintain this pigeon position here and take the left leg straight up, point and flex the foot. Circle the ankle one direction and the other. Now let's cross at the thighs. Your right leg is closest to your chest here. You're in an X position. We also know this is cow space legs. Hold on somewhere. Maybe you have your ankles. Maybe you have the outside of your legs. Just find something to hold on to and move around, circle one direction and the other. All right, let's release, unwind, two feet to the mat, butterfly those knees open and closed. Ready on the left. So let's set up the spine is nice and relaxed here. The right foot is grounded, right knee is straight up, arms by your side, left knee in, point up, flex down. And the next time your knee is in, hold it in, and we reverse, flex out, point up, knee in. And the next time your knee is in, hold it in, hold on to your hamstring here on the left. Keep that right leg grounded. You can take your right arm out to the side even to help you stay grounded and take it out and up. So we're going out to the left and back to center. And the right hip stays grounded, right shoulder stays grounded. All right, now hold at center, right hand outside the left thigh. Left arm extends out from the shoulder to help you stay grounded. Right leg extends any amount. Take that left knee just past the belly button. Your left hip is still on the mat here. Now we're going to let the left knee come farther over to the right as the left hip comes up, but the left shoulder stays grounded, gazing past the left fingertips here. And as you come back through center, left ankle comes across the right thigh, legs come in, open pigeon position here. Hold on to your uh, shin. <laughs> Keep your left foot flexed and go side to side. Forward and back. Circle one direction. Anybody noticing a little spinal massage as we go through these moves? And circle the other direction. Come back to center. Right leg up, point and flex. And circle the ankle. One direction. 
and the other. Now coming into cow space legs, cross tightly up the thighs, left leg is closest to your body. Hold it on and move around. Release, unwind, two feet to the mat, butterfly those knees. And come to hands and knees. So we're finding tabletop here. And then find knee down plank, working to strengthen the arms here. Push up, hips toward heels. This could stay knee down plank. This could go knee up plank, could alternate. Take it forward, could do, you could be doing it out the wall, you could be doing it in the air. And the next time your hips are going back, find your child's pose. Again, child's pose is a head down position, so make if you're keeping your head elevated, make at least two fists. Maybe you find a block to put under. Okay, keep your head, your forehead in contact with something. We don't want to dangle the head because that gives the neck a lot of work to do. But support your head. Alternatively, just sit. And now let's be aware of all the moves that happen in the body as we come to downward facing dog. Do you move your hands? What, what happens when you tuck your toes? How does it feel to lift? What are the shoulders doing, right? We're building awareness. Finding our downward facing dog. And then take a very aware journey as you bring your feet to your hands. And when you get there with a little bend in the knees, bring your forearms to your thighs, hands to the heart. Press through the feet as you straighten the legs. Inhale and draw the arms up and exhale. Let's go legs together, feet together, mountain pose, palms forward. Feeling our balance here with the feet closer together. Now take your feet hip width distance apart and see how that feels in balancing. So we're observing, we're not forcing a feeling, we're observing, we're not judging. All right, let's shake everything out. How are you guys doing? Uh, okay, let's take a couple of breaths. We'll go ahead and um, do a little balancing before we get into our sun salutations because it's been uh, pretty rigorous so far. So we'll start with the feet hip width distance apart. Nice big feet, so we lift the toes and bring them all down. Inhale and exhale. All right, so tree is a balancing and it's also very grounding. So we'll work on tree. So bring your hands to your hips, find your drishti, spot that isn't moving here. Okay, the hips are level, heel, uh, right heel up, right knee out, right foot comes somewhere. Maybe the heel just touches the left leg for now as we make sure that left leg is super strong, super grounded, and then Find your position, foot to the leg. It's perfectly fine for the toes to stay touched down. And bring your hands to your heart. Yes, and if you feel like even raising your arms already, please. Remember, this is your practice. And release, shake it out. All right, let's try that on the left. Hands to hips, drishti, left heel up. Knee out, let's make sure you're, we're not collapsing into the right leg. Heel 
to the right leg, left heel to the right leg. Maybe find a different home for it. Hands to the heart. Tree. And release. All right, let's shake things out. And then we're going right back into tree. If you feel ready to just move right into it, fine. We're going tree on the right. If you want to take it in stages, that's great too. Think about your left leg staying strong and long, okay? Don't have your left hip jutting out. Find tree, right leg. And then if you decide it's time for you to start moving, maybe you fall in and out a couple of times, that's okay. Learning. Ooh, and release. All right, we come down as slowly as possible, <laughs> but as possible, right? All right, let's try that on the left, see how this side is doing. That right leg is staying long and strong. Tree. And find some movement in your tree if that's where you're going. If you want to just stand here in stillness, that's a great place to be also. And release and shake it out. So maybe you felt like one side was, okay, this I could stay here all day and the other side was a little more tricky. I'm going to give you a minute. So you either stay on one side the whole time, your tricky side, working that, or you can do half and half, half right, half left, okay? So you go ahead and go ahead and get started with your tree. Doesn't mean you have to stay in one tree for the whole 30 seconds or a minute, okay? Just work on your tree. I'll tell you when we're halfway done. That was halfway, so switch legs if you're switching or continue to work on one leg. And begin to finish up here. Coming back to your equal standing. And just taking a moment to notice how things are feeling. How was that experience? And shake it out. All right, so we're going to... Um, Remember, we'll be doing bow in our sun salutation. We'll be grabbing the ankle. So if you want to have something nearby to help you grab your ankle, that's always great. Just have it nearby. Okay. And we'll start out, we'll do half bow in the first part and then um, the second uh, part we'll have option to do full bow, okay? A lot of people don't do that, you never have to, right? Okay, so um, in order to prepare the front hip flexors for the bow, we're also going to have a low crescent lunge in our sun salutation. So make sure your knees are going to be okay. And always remember, 
You can work at the wall, right? You can do a low press of lunge at the wall. You can do work at a chair. Okay, we're coming mountain pose here. This is all familiar, so let's make it nice and smooth. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Half lift. Fingertips down. Lunge back, right. Right knee down. Left knee over ankle. Right knee's behind the hip. Low crescent lunge. Feel that front hip flexor. Draw your hips forward. Hands down. Come up. All right. Now, because we want to do both sides, we're going to step forward with the right foot, step back with the left leg. All right. Left lunge back. Bring the left knee down. Low crescent lunge, because we'll be doing bow on both sides. So we just added a little step here. Bring the hands down. Now find plank. Chaturanga. Okay, we're starting with half bow. Bend your right knee. Take that strap if you're taking it. Put it around your right ankle. Take your left Forearm uh, parallel to the front of the mat. Press into the mat. Lift your heart. Reach around with your right hand. Maybe none of this is working for you and you just have your right fingertips waving toward your right ankle. That's fine too. Press into your left forearm. Press your ankle into the strap or your hand and lift your heart. Half bow. Now release. Take your right forearm parallel with the top of the mat. Bend your left knee. Again, reach around. Maybe you find that ankle. Maybe you just wave to it. Maybe you have a strap. Press in and lift your heart. Lifting the heart without throwing the head back. The head is just following the spine. Press your ankle into your hand or your strap and release. All right, let's find a downward facing dog here. Down dog, good. Take a few breaths. And then take a journey, feet to hands. Good. Half lift, forward fold, grounding through the feet, super heavy from the waist down, light from the waist up, float the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center. All right, shake it out. We're starting on the left this time, and we're going to do both sides of our low crescent lunge before we head back down, right? We're preparing the front hip flexors. So top of the mat here, inhale up, exhale, swan dive, half lift, fingertips down, lunge back left, left knee down, crescent, hips are coming forward to open up that front hip flexor, hands down, okay, now we're going to step back, lift your back knee, step back with the right leg, step forward. Uh, that was your left, was that your left? Yes, yeah, step back with your left leg forward. Now bring your right knee down. So we've just switched, <laughs> basically. Low crescent lunge. Yes, you're, so your left leg is forward in this. Bring the hands down, now plank. Chaturanga. Okay. Now, if you do full bow, bend both your knees, grab both your ankles. Otherwise, we're going to start with the right 
forearm parallel to the top of the mat, left knee bends, and find your ankle or your strap. If you put your strap on the other foot, just do your other side. Lift the heart without throwing the head back. And release. If you're in double bow release, we'll do the other side double um, for you. So you'll do two doubles. Okay, left uh, forearm parallel to the top of the mat. Right knee bends. Sweep the right arm around. Remember, you could even just point to your ankle. Press in. Lift the heart without throwing the head back. And release. Lots of back bending. So make a pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead. Bend your knees and move your legs side to side. All right, let's find downward facing dog. Think about the length of the spine here. Bend both knees and then take, with, without worrying if the legs straighten or not, take your tailbone to that place where the ceiling and the wall meet and extend through the spine. Straighten your legs only as much as they go with a great spinal extension here. And then take a super mindful trip, feet to the hands. When you get there, half lift, forward fold, thinking about being super heavy from the waist down, super light from the waist up. Float the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center. Whew and release. All right, let's shake everything out. Inhale and exhale. How's everybody doing? Are we good? All right, so let's come back to the mat and we're just gonna cool things down with some nice, beautiful brush hands and then we'll come back down to the earth. So to turn on your mat where you can have your feet Pretty wide, okay? They're wider than mat width distance. The toes are turned out. Now the feet are grounded, so let's practice. When your knees bend, they go over the center of the feet. They're not going in or out, okay? Inhale and exhale. And let's do brush hands. Arms up, inhale, float it down. Inhale up, float down. Releasing. All right, now the next time you complete this, your arms are up and your legs are straight, bring your hands to your hips, turn your right toes to the right, left toes in at an angle, turn towards your right leg, arms up, inhale, Brush hands to the right. Float over your right leg and up. Exhaling and inhaling. And last time, bring it up and four brush hands to center when you're ready. And after that, bring your hands to your hips, turn your left toes to the left, right toes in at an angle, turn towards your left leg, get ready for brush hands to the left. Okay. 
And after this one, come back to center and finishing up with four brush hands. All right, bring your hands down. Start to shake everything out. Start to ex examine your body from head to toe. See what needs to move. Become aware of any spots that are calling to you to be moved before we head down to the earth. And as you do that, look around. Do you, uh, has your space cooled off? Do you want something to cover up with when we head into final relaxation? Do you want something to support your head when we're down on the earth? Just shake everything out. Inhale and exhale. All right, so we did a little light chair and we also um, uh, did our uh, balancing, but before we head down, we're just going to do our um, poses of the month for October, which is the revolved chair and the warrior three. So warrior three is a balance. So let's come to the top of the mat here. We're not going to spend a lot of time in either one. We're just going to um, review them. Okay. We're going to start with the legs together here. The legs are close together. And set the hips back. We're in the heels now. Arms are shoulder height here. Draw your hands to your heart. Now extend through the spine. We lengthen the spine all in one piece. Inhale. And as you exhale, just twist gently to the right. Come center and twist to the left. And come center. All right, so with the spine still long, we're going back, twisting right, and maybe that left elbow is coming toward the knees. Maybe it's not. Maybe we're still here. Doesn't matter. Come center. Long spine always for twisting. Twist to the other side. And maybe that right elbow heads toward the knee. Maybe you stay lifted. Either way is fine. Come center. Press through the feet. Lift the arms. And shake it out. Whew. All right. So re revolve chair there. Now we've got the feet hip width distance, okay? Remember, we'll be balancing. So let's go ahead and take the right leg back. We're starting out in warrior one. We're going to bring the right heel down. Face the left leg. Left knee is bent. Arms go long, long, long by the ears. Lift up into warrior one. Now spin your back heel up. We're keeping the arms long, right? You can stay right here or all one long line. Start to lean forward and start to bring that right foot off the mat. Remember to fix your gaze six feet diagonal ahead of you, not straight down. Step back to warrior one and forward. All right, so we're going to do that on the left. Left leg back, left heel down. Mm -hmm. Face your right leg, the right knee is over the ankle. Long, long, long arms, warrior one. Heel lifts. You can stay right here or start to move forward in your warrior three, gaze is diagonal. Start to lift that back leg. Step back, warrior one. And step forward, shake it out. All right, let's go ahead and find our way down. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Take a half lift, fingertips down. Down dog. Now maybe you decide to do the rest of the practice seated here because of 
congestion or any other reason, please feel free. All right, in our down dog, we're taking the knees to one side, hips to the other. Come back to center, knees down, sit off to the side, seated mountain pose, okay? All right, now let everything go. Inhale the arms gently up and just melt forward into a super smooth, super soft forward fold. Roll your hands up your legs. One more time, super soft forward fold. Rolling the hands up. Okay, we're taking it all the way down now. Feeling connected to the earth. Both arms and both legs long. Inhale. Exhale. Draw your knees in. Both knees in for Apanasana. Put your hands on your thighs, so right under your knees. Take your knees away from you and rock side to side. Now extend arms and legs long again, inhale, and exhale into happy baby. And massage your spine in happy baby. Now release two feet to the mat, butterfly those knees. And with your feet hip width distance or a comfortable distance apart, extend the arms out from the shoulders. Extend those fingers, wiggle them. Extend, wiggle. Extend, wiggle. And keeping the uh, hands in a gentle fist, rotate the wrists one direction. and the other. Keeping the arms long, bring them back down to connect to the mat and take your head side to side. And coming back to center, bring your hands down by your side. Scan your body from head to toe. See if any other movements need to happen. Any realignment as you find your final relaxation position for today. Take your time with the body scan. Take your time with any finishing poses that are calling to you. Take your time with your alignment. Find your position for final relaxation. Inhale through the nose. And as you slowly exhale, release your body into the support of the earth and just be in your final relaxation.
slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Gently bring movement back to your body. And on your next inhale, extend everything long. Exhale and draw your knees in. And over to the side. And find your way back up to a nice easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.